Joining us as always here on the Sports Call, right here on the hot Board and Supporters Hotline, Bob Pompey Energy and Collier until 11 o'clock. We do it every night. Don't be a stranger. Every night. Every night. Tomorrow we have the Penguins and the Panthers playing at PPG Paints Arena. It's a busy week for the Penguins. A lot of good games. Another back-to-back, -back, the final one coming up on the weekend. We'll see what happens with the goaltending rotation. Kevin Davis on Twitter, Gene, says this. There's no way AB ends up in New England via one trade, even if it took five trades. Bob Kraft would never upset his pay scale to give him a deal that pays him more than what he's getting now. Your take? I don't know. We always have, seem to have this uh, notion that the, pay, that the Patriots never make any mistakes and that Bob Kraft never makes any mistakes. All you have to do is turn on the news to see that that's not right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but as for uh, what Antonio Brown is going to get, he's not going to get any more than what is in his contract. He's under contract through, I believe, 2021, and that's what he's going to get. Or you can hold out like Le'Veon Bell. Uh, in another genius move that cost him $14 million. Well said. Let's go to line four. Masterson, you're up. How are you? Yes, sir. Greetings, sir. Robert, how are you doing today? Good. How are you? Uh, cruising along graciously and gracefully. Great. Why would a person, why would a corporation want to have someone on their payroll that is not happy to be there with the corporation? I mean, because you know, it, I was watching. They want to win, <laughs> and in this, in this ultimate game that the NFL is or any sports league, you want to win. And if you believe a guy can come in and help you win, you'll put up with all of that. It's yeah, but he's, he's he's throwing some guy's arm off. Someone was trying to t touch his um, shoulder to, for comforting, and he's throwing the guy's arm off. I mean, that doesn't look cool at all. Gene, your take on that. That's Well, I mean, you don't lose any points for that. Um... I mean, you can make the case that, you know, he's not a good thing for the uh, culture in the locker room. And, you know, th that means something. Um, pro sports teams have tolerated all kinds of individuals over the years in the name of winning. I mean, the Oakland A's won three consecutive World Series in the 70s with a whole bunch of players who didn't want to be there, couldn't wait to get out. I mean, um, this, this happens. As long as they believe you can help somebody win, and a lot of teams out there, I think, think that of Antonio Brown, and probably think, well, if he comes here, I can deal with him, we'll work it out, and he'll help us. And that could be a mistake, a big mistake, especially if he's demanding a new contract, and then at least a, a yeah. further problem. And comparing them to a corporation, that's a false equivalency. I mean, it's, right. uh, all, at the end of the day, which I hate, I, I can't believe uh, I said the, the end trade of the award day. given by Gene Collier. Now he, how about when it's all said and done? I hate that one, too. It is what, what I'm it trying is. to get to is. <laughs> <laughs> is it's a football team, ultimately. It is. <laughs> what it is. Let's go to Rose and Ben Alvin. Hey, Rose, how are you? Fine. How are you? Thanks for taking my call. Sure. This message is for Gene. Sure. He's here. I'd like to thank Gene very much for the beautiful article he wrote about our dear friend Rory McHugh. Oh, you're oh welcome. yeah, that thank was you so much. Yeah, we're missing. Yes, him. and we're we met him through time. Annie and Carl, and we also had the pleasure of meeting Gene at, uh, at um, Rory's hundredth birthday. Annie and oh, Carl. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Oh, it was nice. That's Beautiful. what Roy said. Uh, Very uh, nice, yeah. That's where nice. Roy and warned us all. He said, don't consider this a milestone. He said, you can consider this a milestone, but I think we all know what the next milestone <laughs> is. Uh, he had a good sense of humor, yeah. and he was still writing well into his 90s. He so. sure was. Rest in peace, Roy. Yeah. On a week. Great man. All right, we're due for a break. We'll take it right now. We'll come back right here on Pittsburgh CW.